What's up, Pigeon family? It's your boy Pigeon here, and we're back after the defeat to Arsenal. We're here in the Coupe de France versus LB Châteauroux at the Stade Gaston Petit, round of 32 in the Coupe de France this Friday, the 6th of January 2022, 21 p.m. That's French time for everyone. And as we know, Paris Saint-Germain will be missing a lot of key players in this game, but that should not matter. Kylian Mbappé and Ashraf Hakimi, they have a recovery phase after returning very early on from the World Cup. Lionel Messi just returned to Paris Saint-Germain, but he will need to be training. So he will be available for the Angers game. And Hakimi and Mbappe, they will need to wait for the Stade Rene game. Nunmenj and Kimpembe are still injured. And Marco Verratti is suspended due to an accumulation of yellow cards for this game. So a lot of a lot of players are missing this game. But someone is back. And that's Neymar a Jr. And this is my predicted lineup for Paris Saint-Germain versus LB Chateau. I think Donnarumma will start. I mean, this is a game where you play your second keeper, uh, Keylor Navas or Rico, but Rico's, we're looking to sell him. Same goes for Navas. So I wouldn't be that surprised if uh, Lavelli, our youngster goalkeeper, starts this game. But I believe Donnarumma will start this game, especially after conceding three goals. That's not good for a goalkeeper. So I believe Galtier will start him to give him that confidence. Backline should look Mukiele on the right with Hakimi out. Uh, Juan Bernat comes back to the left back spot if it's fit enough, hopefully. And then in the center back spots, we have Bichiabo. And then the other center back spot, it will be Marquinhos, it will be Danilo, or it will be Ramos. But if Bernat is not fit enough, Bichiabo will take that left back spot. I will probably see a combination of Marquinhos, Danilo, and Ramos at the center back spot. Midfield can look. Oof, there are a lot of, lot of ways the midfield can look i think vitinho will get some starting minutes after not starting against Arsenal and having good 20 25 minutes at the end of the game i think warren zaira emery this is the game he will start especially with the reports from solo parisian and i mean i put him there because i want to see him and Corey start this game but i believe the, ne the next player will be a fabian ruiz or maybe even a Carlos Soler. But Eamon Cardi definitely will get some minutes off the bench, I believe. And then an attack, a Neymar Jr. because he's straight back. After that red card, I believe he will start this game and will be subbed out early. And then up front, we got Eke Tike and Ismail Garbi. Galte, of course, maybe a tourist and playing Sarabia up in attack alongside Eke Tike. But we'll definitely see Garbi getting some minutes in this game. And I believe Elias Husni will also come off from the bench. Amma wants to watch. It is Ismail Garbi. I 100% believe he will start this game uh, with so many attackers. Messi and Mbappe out. And this is a Coupe de France game. Like, this is the game where your youngsters are meant to get some minutes. And Ismail Garbi against Arcelon. He was good in those 20 minutes. Even though he didn't do anything decisive or big in that game. He's my wants to watch for this game. Because I really want to see him break through and take that, what, sixth fifth attacker spot away from Pablo Sarabia because he deserves it he deserves it like he wants these minutes he's more motivated and he's actually much better on the pitch than Sarabia offers much more going talking about Elbe Chateau they're sitting 14th in the National League which which is the third division in France after Ligue 1 and Ligue 2 their form is not looking great I said they're sitting 14th though they have three losses and three draws in their last six games winless in their last six games so this is a team that's first of all quality wise nowhere close to Paris Saint-Germain and even form wise nowhere close to Paris Saint-Germain even though we lost our last game sadly I couldn't find any predicted lineup or any images of their players and their my ones to watch from their team is he's called Peter he was the high he had the highest market value on transfer market with 500k and I actually saw he came from the Lorient Academy played there for a time um, and was also in the French youth setup, but now he's at the third tier in league uh, in French football. Managers coming into this, uh, Chateau's manager, he's uh, actually a former Marseille player, so there will maybe some rivalry there. But Galter, hopefully, what he does, simple playing the youngster, giving them minutes because this is a perfect opportunity for the youngsters. It is a game that 
quality wise our youngsters are better than what they have they have more market value for example warren zaira emery he's worth more than the combined starting 11 of elbi so definitely they should be getting some starting minutes in this game and opportunities and my uh, prediction for this game is a 3-0 victory of course Paris Saint Germain may score more and i'm i'm 100 confident because Paris Saint Germain Never. I've never seen them go out uh, in the Coupe de France or even in the Coupe de Ligue previously to what, a low table team ever. I've never seen that happen. Uh, like other clubs, they may do it, but Paris Saint-Germain never do it. And I believe Neymar, a junior, Ismail Garbi and Ilyas Husni will get uh, the goals that are needed for Paris Saint-Germain in this fixture. I believe Neymar Garbi will score in there on. Husni comes on as a substitute and proves his worth getting that third goal. But that was it for the uh, Paris Saint-Germain versus LB Chateau uh, preview. Let me know in the comments down below what's your prediction for this game. Other than that, make sure to like this video. That would be the most helpful support to this channel. Make sure to subscribe to the PCN YouTube channel. And as always, allez, allez, allez Paris.